Hey guys, it's Scott here and welcome to my FIFA 18 Road to Glory, also known as my Ultimate Team Journey. This is a series that has been on my channel since FIFA 13 now, but it is back and bigger than ever. So hopefully you do enjoy this first episode. If you do, hit that thumbs up button down below to show your support. If you are new to my channel, seeing this as your first video, then welcome. I do daily FIFA 18 streams and the Road to Glory is going to be something that is going to be happening pretty much every single day. So if you're a fan of chilled out streams where we just play a bit of FIFA, talk to you guys in the chat. This is the place to be. You can subscribe. But what is this episode? Pretty much it's just an introduction to the series to answer any frequently asked questions, I guess, that people may have about how it's going to work, how are you going to be able to watch it, are there any rules in place, etc, etc. So if you do have any more questions or comments, then please do not hesitate to put them in the comments section of this video, and I'll do my best to respond to everything. But bring on the FIFA 18 hype. Let's get into it. But before we get into FIFA 18, let me take you back in time a little bit and show you a little glimpse of each of the series that I've done. As I say, I started this in FIFA 13, and we started off with a bang. I went for the full team of the year. Now, the only reason this was even possible was because you could do wages back in the day, and that made it a lot easier. Unfortunately, the full team of the year wasn't actually that good, but it was a good way to start off the series. Next we moved on to FIFA 14 and I like to freshen things up each year and give myself a bit of a different goal so it's not repetitive and it doesn't remind you of the previous year. So on this one I went for a team, the highest rated team from each of the leagues in the game, not including special cards. So some of them were good, for example the BBVA team you can see on your screen was pretty decent. But you had teams like the Ukrainian League where you didn't even have wide players. So you were forced to use like the 10 gold players that they had or whatever and the silver. Some of them were interesting, some of them were not. But again, it was a little bit different to the previous year. Following FIFA 14, you guessed it, we had FIFA 15. Incredible, I know. On this game, we went for something, again, a little bit different. And I went for a full Legend team. Now, the reason why this was different was this was the year that price ranges were introduced midway through the game. And so it pretty much screwed me. I couldn't do, like, wages and stuff like I was planning to do to get, like, a Pele or something as an end goal. And so we had to sort of settle for an average legend team, which wasn't great. So we're going to try and mix things up a little bit as we go forward and try and improve from this legend. Now we move on to FIFA 16. On this game, I hated it. I absolutely despise FIFA 16. And so my initial goal was to get every single Premier League player in the game, potentially including special cards. But because I hated it so much, I started playing COD. And so I didn't really stream that much FIFA 16. There were only like 35 episodes of the entire series, I believe. And so my goal changed a little bit and I ended up, because we won the league that year. I don't know if you remember, Leicester, we won the Premier League. Yeah, it did actually happen. It wasn't a dream. So I built the best possible Leicester team in the game. And that was a hell of a lot of fun. That team was amazing. We had some awesome players. So I enjoyed it in the end. And then we finally move on to FIFA 17, where my aim was yet again something a little bit different. I tried to get the highest rated starting 11 from each of the top 15 nations in world football. So like Argentina, Brazil, Germany, England, etc. You get the idea. And this sort of finished prematurely. And the reason why was not because I gave up on it, but because I did things like packing Ronaldo, which saved me one and a half million coins that I would have had to earn. So the series ended way earlier than any of the other series, which was, I guess, a good thing, because it meant that I could then do whatever the hell I wanted on FIFA 17, which was a lot of fun and by far my favourite FIFA that I've ever played. So FIFA 18, we're going to up the goal a little bit so that it's not going to be as easy to finish unless I get super, super lucky in packs this year. So now there's a few questions to answer about my FIFA 18 Road to Glory, aren't there? Let's get into it. So, first things first, how is it going to work? Pretty much, I stream every single day for FIFA, and FIFA 18 is going to be no different. Now, the difference between my Ultimate Team journey and things you may see on other people's channels is I only have one account, I only have one main series. Now, some people may split it up as a Road to Glory, as well as a Draft to Glory, and a Foot Champs to Glory, and then packs. Everything I do is connected. Again, I have one account. I am not putting any FIFA points into the game this year. That is one part that I am definitely sticking to. And so I'm going to be making money through squad battles, through SBCs, through foot drafts, through seasons, through foot champions, and everything is connected. So all of the streams that you see, whether it be titled foot draft, foot champions, etc., it all links into my road to glory. So... What is the aim of the Road to Glory? Well, as soon as I saw that Ronaldinho was announced in FIFA 18, 
That was the focus instantly. He's my favourite player of all time. I love the guy. He got me interested and hooked on football. Like, I never loved it as much as I did until I saw him play. So as soon as he was announced, bang, FIFA 18 goal sorted. I then just had to decide how I was going to build a team around him or what the focus was going to be. So initially I was thinking, oh, maybe the teams that he used to play for, maybe a Brazil team, etc, etc. But no, we're going all out this year. Icons. Now, prime icons look incredible. I think we can all agree on that. You may not even need to use any other cards in the game if you get prime icons. Team of the year, team of the season, get rid of him. Prime icons are good. Now, I've left this a little bit open-ended because I don't know how many coins I'm going to be able to generate this year without putting any money into the game. I also don't know the cost of prime icons and how much they're going to be. So, ideally, I would love to get all three versions of Ronaldinho and also get a prime, full prime icon team. Is that going to be possible? It's impossible for me to say. So it may just be a basic icon team with Ronaldinho in it. It may not. We'll have to wait and see. And that will become clearer as we get through the months, see how many coins we're generating, etc, etc. And I can give you a bit more of an update. I would also like to add a gameplay target in there as well. Because obviously we've got a squad target of icons on Ronaldinho. Simple as that. That's the same with a lot of people's Road to Glories. They aim for a certain thing. I'm also incorporating, I guess a mini series as well. I want to get to Elite One in Foot Champs. Now last year I did it multiple times, I also got to Top 100 once which was pretty awesome. This year, as part of my series, I want to go to Elite One 100%. Now the good thing about icons is that it doesn't limit me. I can build whatever team I want and an icon will fit into it because they link to everybody. So I'm not forced to go down like, oh, an English route or a Bundesliga route, etc. There's no constrictions I can do whatever and then chuck my icons in as I get them over time. Now, I don't want to build a really, really basic icon team with like the crappy versions of every single guy. I want to get the best ones that I possibly can afford. So, again, it's impossible to say right now exactly what the end goal is in terms of players, but you'll obviously understand it as we go along. So if you've got any questions that you want to ask, or potentially other things that I've not mentioned that you want to see in this series as part of it, then please let me know. But it will be streamed pretty much every single day throughout FIFA 18. This is what I do. FIFA 18 daily streams where I chill out, I talk to the people in the chat, and we play some FIFA aiming to get our end target completed, which this year is going to be based around Ronaldinho. So we're going to build it up like any other Road to Glory, basic team, a little bit better, and then fill in some icons as we go along. And I hope that you are going to be enjoying the ride with me. Again, any feedback, questions, put them in the comments. I will respond to everything that is put there. Thank you very, very much for tuning into this, I guess, episode zero of this Road to Glory. The first episode will begin on the 21st when EA Access is released. That is in two days, for those that don't know the date right now. It's going to be hype. So leave a like if you did enjoy this. Subscribe if you're new and know you are ready for, I guess, a slightly unique Road to Glory. I'm ready for it. Thank you very much for tuning in. I will see you on Thursday for the first episode. Goodbye.